Okay, peeps, so uh, short video showing you some new functionality of Maxduino 3.0. Um, it's uh, a very clever lad called David Hooper, uh, who's been doing a lot of work on Maxduino recently, added OTLA support uh, for Maxduino. Now, I don't know much about OTLA files, uh, but uh, I know that they um, are very fast loaders super fast loaders in fact um, you've seen this today on a, a ZX Spectrum but I also understand that OTLA files work with uh, Amstrad, MSX and Auric right there might be a few others that I'm not sure of right yeah but today I'm going to show you on a ZX Spectrum um, the file that I'm going to uh, the game I'm going to demonstrate is Manic Miner so Raphael who's the main developer for Maxduino um, added a few demonstration files to the Maxduino GitHub page and Manic Miner is one of them and guys I can tell you it loads in 15 seconds so um, I've never seen Manic Miner load in 15 seconds from a tape device essentially Maxduino is a tape device right yeah so let's let's have a look so this is my pack Max device. Um, you might have seen it if you went to Crash Live uh, last month. And uh, I've updated the firmware with version 3 of Maxduino. And I've got my Manic, Manic Miner file on here. So let's load that up. And you're going to see this load in 15 seconds. Oh, shit. Sorry. Let's press enter first. So we're already halfway. Boom, 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds. That's just that's crazy, isn't it? So um, I don't I don't honestly don't know how many other games have been converted to OTLA. That's a bit of research that I need to do. Um, I think I've seen a video from Mark Payne from years ago. Uh, you know, Mark, Mark fixes stuff, uh, that guy, uh, showing you how to do the conversion. Um, I might look into it. I might make an automator to automate uh, uh, TZX files to OTLA, OTLA TZX files. I need to do a bit more research, but 15 seconds, guys. Thanks for watching.